Hello everyone, this is Reverse Bopping. Today I'm going to be showing you the best NVIDIA control panel settings for gaming. Um, I've seen a lot of these videos and I've used a lot of different um, a lot of different settings from NVIDIA and I came up to this one which worked best for me and all these videos were like 20 minutes long so I wanted to make a quick one so that you can just quickly do this and be done with it and be on your way. So first thing you're going to do is right click on your desktop, go to NVIDIA control panel, and I already have all of these things set up, um, oh, I already have it open here, and uh, yes, yeah, so you can just follow along. So the first thing you're going to do is go down to the bottom option here, and make sure the slider here goes to performance, and once you got it there, you're going to hit apply, and once that applies, then you're just going to click use the advanced 3D image settings, and then you're going to go... Um, up to the top left, you go to manage 3D settings, and you're going to start by putting image sharpening to um, sharpening 0 0.15 and film grain to 0 0.17. It's going to be automatically like this, so it's going to, for most people, it's going to start with being off, so you're just going to turn it on, and this is already going to be set, so you're just going to hit OK. If it's not like this, then just set it to like this. Um, that's what I'd recommend. Next is ambient, uh, ambient occlusion, you're going to put that to performance. Um, obviously because nobody wants quality, we want frames. Next is anisotropic filtering, you're going to put that to application controlled. Um, anti-aliasing, you want to off, um, anti-aliasing gamma correction on, anti-aliasing mode, just, <clears throat> just put that off. Um, these two, for some people, you have it, but, um, like for me, I don't have these options, so I just put them to non and off, or that's just how it is, so... You just have to look it up yourself, how, what exactly that, those do, because I don't know, because I don't need them. Anyways, background application, max frame rate. Um, I put mine to 30 frames per second, because I don't have two monitors, I just have one. So if I do have um, a YouTube video playing in the background, I just, um, as soon as I'm playing a game, I just wanted to drop the frame on the YouTube video so that it doesn't use it too much on my CPU. But for most people, you can just leave this on off. Um, yeah, it's just something I do. Uh, CUDA GPUs, turn that on all. A low, latency, a low latency mode. Um, if you run over 80 frames per second, you want this on. Uh, you want this on ultra. Uh, but if you low below, if you run below 80 frames per second, then just leave it on off. It won't make a difference for you. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> next is for max frame rate. Uh, you can just leave that on off. Multi frame sampling, leave that on off as well. Open GL rendering GPU. You just select your GPU and. Uh, yeah, because I have a GTX 1650. You just select your GPU and leave it at that. Next is power management mode. Power management mode. Uh, put it to prefer maximum performance. Uh, shader cache on. Texture filter anisotropic sample options on. Texture filtering negative LOD bias. Allow. Texture filtering quality high performance. Texture filtering uh, tri um, this one. Leave that on on. Third optimization. Put that on auto, triple buffering off, vertical sync off, virtual reality pre-rendered frames, just leave that on one, virtual reality variable, whatever this is, just leave that on off. Um, then after that, after you've copied all of this, then you go to set physics engine, oh, and yes, apply the settings. You gotta first apply the settings. And once it's applied, you go to set um physics configuration and just select your gpu not your cpu because that's just going to really screw up your frames for some people uh, for me it doesn't really make a difference but yeah just select your gpu and that's it i've already have this applied so it doesn't make a difference to me but um yeah you just do that and you'll be all set to go thanks for watching and uh, that's it